Hi folks, this is a massive uh, bridge rectifier, massive, and what it is basically is they're just heat sinks with these uh, really large diodes that are down inside, configured in a way that receives AC power that converts it over to DC power, and I'm going to give you a little explanation on how I did it. These are just massive heat sinks. You need massive heat sinks to be able to lose the heat from when the basically the transformation is taking place or the conversion. So here we have some diodes. These ones here are large. They're like a thousand amp a piece. And you have the flow that's going this way, upward. So we have it like that. Same with this one here, the flow is going upward. Same with this one here, is going upward. And the same with this one here, is going upward. Let me move it in a little bit. Okay, now what's going to happen is that these two get joined together, these two get joined together, these two get joined together, and these two get joined together. So on this over here, you can see it that for these two here, they're going into this one heat sink. Because this is where your heat's going to be coming from, okay, right here itself. There won't be any heat here. This is your DC. This one. And this one. And here's your AC input. So on, the, on over here, here's your AC input. This one and this one. It doesn't matter, black or common. It doesn't make a difference which way goes which. And then here's your DC. On this side, you can see those two there. They go to a flat bar, which is the bottom one, and that's the negative, and then the double here, which is the negative, I'm sorry, the positive, goes to the heat sink, both of them. So you can see them there, those big nuts, that's the, uh, what's fastening them on. So they need to be wired in that way in order to do, to do the conversion. So you have an AC line goes here, one line, one line, and then you have your DC output. Now when I was doing it with this, I was going to try and make myself a large uh, single cell battery charger. But unfortunately I'm not successful yet, and reason being is that um, such a low voltage won't travel through it. So I'm going to have to figure something else out. And if anyone's got any ideas of how I can enable this for low voltage, but yet still get high amps, I'd like to hear about it. Because I'm kind of in a still mode at the moment. But I have the all ready to go. So anyways, it's just a massive bridge rectifier at the moment. It's good for many other things, but what I want it for, and why I built it, I just can't quite use it for that yet. So I'm going to hang on and do some research and do some thinking and hopefully get some opinions and some advice on maybe some steps that I could take to, to, to do that. But anyhow, this is the configuration of the diodes to make your own bridge rectifier. And remember, there's going to be, depending on the amps, but you're going to have some major heat development here and here and these two. Lots of development of heat and you want to be able to get rid of that heat and that's the purpose of the heat sinks. Realistically this one here should have been upward so it can vent upward because heat rises but what I'm going to do when it actually works is I'm going to use a small uh, PC fan just to blow away the heat. 
These other two are upright for just that reason, so the heat can escape upward. Now, depending on what kind of amps, will be depending on what kind of heat is going to be developed from down inside there. And then the aluminum itself is going to take that heat in, absorb it, and then emit it out the top because heat rises up. This way the diode itself, the individual one, doesn't develop with too much heat and burn out, cause problems. You want to be able to get rid of that heat. Okay folks, I hope this was a nice little video for those that uh, like playing with this type of thing. And thank you for watching and subscribe if you have not. And thank you for those that have.